Well, I've just about had it with Mother Nature. Not just about had it. I've had it. It was 46 or 47 on Sunday. It was 46 or 47 on, on, on Saturday. On Monday, it was 47. This morning, it was 48. I will not turn my furnace back on. I will not turn my furnace back on. But it's cold in the morning in the house, and I hate it, Pat. Well, it was pretty chilly also up at the lake, I have to tell you. It was 48, <laughs> and uh, I didn't put the heat on either. Uh, it was fine under the covers, uh, but of course when I had to get out of yeah. bed and go to church Sunday morning, um, I was smart. I even warned uh, my friend Helen, I said, make sure you bring warm clothes, and she did. I brought my sweatshirt. That's how I went to church with a sweatshirt and jacket on. And um, it was, yeah, I, even Sunday with the sun out, uh, the wind was blowing. Yeah. And, and temperatures, you know, got into the 70s, but it was still chilly. But that was, um, you know, you, it's the lesser of two evils here, folks. Uh, we either take this or then you could suffer with triple digit heat and, um, and heat indices. Uh, well into the hundreds. I mean, it's horrible, and that's it's why, humid. That's why God. In, that's why God invented shorts. Well, I, I don't know why he invented them, but <laughs> I'm just as happy that the heat is staying our, to our south than it will. Uh, we don't see we don't see that heat wave coming this way. So today will be partly cloudy. We could have some showers coming in from the north later today, low 70s. A better chance tonight, upper 50s, and showers on and off Wednesday. And that keeps the temperature in the 60s. Thursday, I think showers and a thunderstorm 80. And leftover showers, 75 to 80 Friday. Weekend, I think no rain. I think it will be the opposite of last weekend. We should have highs in the middle 80s. Humidity will be reasonable. And we'll wind up with a partly sunny sky. So see, it's on and off. That's how it's been so far. One, One not so great weekend, then a nice weekend. Back and forth, back and forth. And as I said in my summer forecast, I thought that at least um, 50% of the weekends in the summer would have one day of rain. So that could work, too. We'll see what happens. But uh, I know you're not happy, but I am thrilled that well, that heat is staying to us out. Well, this week in Canaan, they're having a week's worth of fun uh, activities every day. It, uh, it starts, uh, they, had a, they had a pool party today. They have a get together at Lawrence Field, um, which is covered, by the way. So if if we do get uh, if we do get sh- showers today, uh, w- will they be late in the afternoon? Yeah, after four o'clock. Okay, after four o'clock. But they've got something going on every day uh, in North Canaan this week. So. Yeah, they may have to duck with showers, but you know we'll see. Uh, we could be taking this stuff out, uh, especially Thursday. Uh, we'll have to see how far west. The precipitation gets banked up uh, because if you were in eastern Connecticut on Thursday, you're not going to have any rain. I don't think Boston will have rain. I don't think Providence will have rain. I don't think New London will have rain. So it's going to be banked up to the west where we are. And we'll have to see. Maybe it'll push further west and uh, they'll get it in the Catskills and not here. We'll see. Uh, so that's that. How did my new guy Dan Henry do yesterday? He did good. So I'm getting getting good reviews. Everybody liked him. Yeah, no, he he does a, he does he he's done a good job. Yeah, it's the first really first time. So um, uh, yeah, I was um, I was kind of looking forward. It was a good thing, uh, Marshall, that I took the day off. You know, as I told you last week, and I'm going to give you a little story here. I mean, last Thursday night I had to go out to dinner. I got home late. Last Friday night we had that uh, backyard party thrown by a neighbor. And it really was delightful. But I have to tell you, Marshall, it said on the flyer 6 to 10 p.m. So I got there at 6. I figured by about 8 I'd be home. I was meeting so many nice neighbors that live on our block that I really I would just wait to and not really know that I wound up getting home at 10.30. Now it's the dinner dance day, and it's Saturday. And, of course, it's going to be a late night. All right, so things are going along just well. And during the week last week, I emailed the treasurer, and I said, I know the president will be there. 
could you please make sure he has a couple of blank checks? We have to pay the kitty room home. We have to pay the DJ. She wrote back. She goes, absolutely no problem. All taken care of. Okay, great. So now the cocktail hour is going on. Uh, and the banquet manager comes up to me and she said, Pat, would you like to settle the bill now so that we really don't have to do it later when the affair is going on? I said, that's a great idea. Let me grab the president. So I went outside. I said, Dick? And he goes, yes. I said, um, the banquet manager would like to settle the, the bill right now. Could uh, could you come inside so we can write out the check? And he looks at me and he said, I don't have any checks. What? That's exactly what I said. I said, what? He said, I don't have any checks. Nobody told me anything. I said, excuse me. I wrote to the treasurer, Gail. So uh, I'm so furious now that I'm actually cursing. And I'm at the cocktail bar. Huh. And he's going, calm down, calm down. He goes, I have a couple of checks at the cabin. I could go get those. Or could they wait till tomorrow? I said, they can't wait till tomorrow. I said, the DJ is going to be leaving tonight. And the Lafayette house wants their money now. He goes, okay, well, in a little while, I'll go back to the cabin and get the checks. So now I'm embar embarrassed enough. I have to go back to the banquet manager and tell her what happened. She didn't say words. She looked at me as if to say, you got to be kidding. Okay, so now that upset me for the whole dance. I mean, I was trying to have a good time, but I'm upset. Now, I'm keeping my eye on his table to see when he's going to get up and leave. Now, the reception started at 8. At 9.30, he left after he had dinner. He returned at 10.30, or, yeah, maybe closer to 11. So I went over to the table. I said, Dick, let's write out these checks. Write out the checks. He goes, you're pull with this place? I said, yeah, why? He goes, I'd like another cup of coffee, and I want a piece of cheesecake to bring home. I said, hold on. So I went in, I spoke to them, and they said, no problem. So... I said, okay, so that's it. Big foul up. Probably this is it. I'm not going to do this anymore. I've had it. Hmm. They're just ta taking the whole thing for granted. So I emailed the um, treasurer yesterday. She sent me back photos of the emails that she sent the president. He completely, completely forgot. It was all his fault. I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but again, he's in his 80s. I don't think he should be president. Impeach. <laughs> I am furious. I'm still furious. Uh, I really I really don't think that I'm going to do it next year. I really don't. It's not worth the hassle. It really isn't. No. Let somebody no. else deal with it. Yeah, nobody will. That, that's the problem. If I give this dance up, there will not be a 24th annual dance. Mark my words. There will not be. Well, then people can realize how, how much work it is, and maybe they'll pay the next person to do it. Absolutely. When I was leaving Saturday at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, I checked my email before I left. Three people, a group, sent me an email. Sorry, unfortunately, we can't make it. They never sent the check in. They called me Thursday because they were coming the last minute. I changed all the table settings to fit them in. And Saturday at 3 p.m., they canceled. What kind of respect is that show? None, yeah, none at all. Exactly. Hey, so, I, anyhow, the dance was nice. Yeah, well, it's good. Overall, the dance was nice. We had a good time. We had we wound up with seventy two people, and uh, everyone had a nice time. The food was good. DJ was good. So we had a nice time, and the weather, of course, was very cool. Now, I want you. Did you ever go into a Horn and Harden uh, uh, at all? Yeah, when I was a, yeah, I was a young boy in the city. Yeah, I used to I my I used to go in and they 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 closed up shop. I think it was in 1969 or 1971, one of those years. Uh, it was the place to go. They had like 30 locations in New York City, uh, a couple in Philadelphia. There is a great, great documentary on Amazon Prime. Okay. About Horn and Harden. Oh, I gotta watch that. Oh, it's it's terrific. It's you know what was, you know what was nice about that, folks. Um, you know, you opened up the the glass of the food that you wanted, and let's say it was a sandwich. You would take the sandwich, and the um, you know the the spinner, whatever you are, the carousel would roll back, and they would replace it. But that that meant 
that for the most part, every time you took something, you were getting something fresh. And you know, what's the whole thing? People don't understand. The food was actually good. It was very. It was fresh food. It was made there, and yeah. it was cheap. It didn't matter if you were a poor person or if you were a wealthy person. Right. You could go there and you could get something to eat, and you could you could order you could have had a a, a, a five cent sandwich, and you could have stayed there all day. They could care less. Right. It was a great place. What a great documentary. I wonder why it went. Well, why did it go bust? Well, because uh, you had fast food market came in, mm. fast food things, and and then the all of a sudden the Horton Hybrid property became more valuable, selling it to the fast food joints. I got you. But uh, watch the documentary. It's so good. It's on. It's, okay. it's Amazon Prime. Okay. Good. Thank you. Yeah, Horn and Harden. Mm -hmm. I, I used to love to go there, Mike. And you, you'd go there and you'd put your. Well, by the time I was going there, it would like be twenty five cents for a piece of pie, uh, you know, fifty cents for a sandwich. You put it in there and you open it up and you're right. You take it out and zoop, it's gone. <laughs> yep. Yep. It was a lot of fun. I think just that. Just that, you know, created the mystique of going in there and having your food there. Yeah. I used to call them the automats, Horn and Harden. The automats, right. All right. So let's recap this Horn and Harden forecast. We have late showers uh, today, showers tonight, showers tomorrow, and maybe still some showers Thursday. Wow. I guess we don't have to take any showers then. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> All right, Pat, I'll speak to you tomorrow. All righty. Bye-bye. Take care. Pat began this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast.